Hi guys, so I just got finished doing an eyebrow tutorial and it's going to be on my other channel. It was a requested tutorial from one of my um, subscribers that's on this channel. So I finally did it and I got to edit it so it should be up soon. So be on the lookout for that. So um, yeah guys, so I'm just sitting here in the room by myself. Um, so I'm just sitting here by myself in this room. And um, Kayla, she's in the other room. He's on outside playing with his cousin right now. And my uncle and my and my aunt and Ken is at work. So um, yeah, so they all at work right now, and I'm just here. <laughs> so I decided to do um, a tutorial and yeah, and talk to you guys. So I'm about to explain some things to you guys, what's going on because um, my last vlog I really couldn't talk to you guys the way I wanted to because so much was going on but I do want to keep um, everything real with you guys I mean you guys know just about everything about me and my family you know the struggles and everything but yeah we still going through our struggles and stuff but you know it's okay things gonna get better so um, my channel is basically um, about guys me sharing my life with you guys okay I'm sharing my life with you guys. I just want you guys to know if you are in my situation, um, it's going to be okay. Uh, we all go through things in life, and I just wanted to keep this channel 100% real with you guys, okay? So, um, you know, we've been struggling for a little while since, like, probably like two years now and um, I'm not trying to get emotional but sometimes I do get emotional guys so I'm trying not to cry I, I just want to be strong for this video but um, the reason why I get so emotional because I think about my kids and I did a video a while back and I was just bawling on that on that video and it's still up. If you want to see that video, it's still up, guys. That's when we was living out of a hotel. And, um, yeah, so that video is still I just up. feel like but I can't get myself together for some reason. Now, let me take you guys back. Let me take you guys back. I don't had it all, okay? I don't had houses, cars. I don't had clothes. I don't had everything, okay? All of that material stuff. I don't had and we just recently two years ago lost everything when I say we lost everything we lost everything I mean we are really basically starting over okay we are starting over from scratch all right um, furniture is lost everything is lost when i say everything i mean everything guys so we basically trying to build ourselves back up so we've been living with family and out of hotels living with family we really didn't want to do this at all but we had to swallow our pride and ask for help you know so we was trying to do everything on our own so let me take you guys back to season I believe that was season two, if I'm not mistaken. Season one or season two, one of the other. Okay, let me start from season one. We were living with my, was it season one? We was living with my mother-in-law in season one. Then we lived with my sister. Then we got an apartment and we stayed in that apartment for a while. And then I got approved for another apartment to move into another apartment, but we decided not to take that apartment because we just didn't want to put get ourselves back into this situation again, okay? So what we did, we moved into a hotel. Who opening up the door? <laughs> okay, so we moved into a hotel. And from, we stayed in we stayed in like I guess like two two hotels I believe I don't know y'all just go back to seasons one and two and three you guys will see the whole journey but um yeah we stayed in hotel rooms and stuff together 
me and the kids and Ken, you know, we all been cooped up in one room, which is cool because, I don't know, me and Ken, we kind of enjoyed ourselves being with our children and stuff like that. It didn't really bother us at all. So, um, yeah, it just got our connection even closer. You know what I'm saying? We bonded, like, even more. You know what I mean? So, um, so from the hotels, uh, we moved with my father. My father was like, come over, you know what I'm saying? He wanted us there. So I didn't want to move with my dad. And let me tell you the story about that. Now, I didn't grow up with my father. My mom remarried, and her husband raised me, okay? He raised me from age two and all the way up to now, okay? So, and he passed away in 2006. Now, my father, my biological father, he wasn't in my life. He wasn't in my life. And he, I tried to get him in my life, but it just didn't work out that way. I mean, I seen him every blue moon. He raised my sister and he raised my brother, okay? He didn't raise me. So, I really wanted to, like, have him in my life. You know what I mean? So, um, I decided to move. Go ahead and move with him since he opened the door for us. You know what I'm saying? So, we got tired of staying in the hotel anyway, paying all that money. And that's another thing. We were paying out so much money in the hotel room that it was just hard for us to, like, get ourselves together. I was working and everything. And then I ended up quitting that job because they start cutting back on my hours and stuff. So I really wasn't getting hours in the way I was getting it in before. And I went through a lot with that job. I mean, I got robbed at that job and everything. Guys, I went through a lot. And oh my God, that experience right there was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I, I went through a lot at that job. But I ended up quitting that job because they cut back on my hours and it really wasn't helping me anyway because it was just taking more money to get there because I was riding on the bus at the time trying to get to work and so Ken was like look you, it's taking more money to get to work in order to have money in our pocket you know so I ended up quitting that job and I've been jobless ever since okay but I have been like on interviews and looking for jobs and stuff like that but it just hasn't worked out for me so my husband being the great man that he is you know he been working and stuff and trying to hold it down you know and i really really admire him i look up to him and everything guys he teach me a lot and um he just a great father i mean um he just been holding it down and i love him so much but um, like I told you guys, it's a job opportunity for me. You know what I'm saying? I just got to go through another testing. And I have to do like a six to seven weeks training. And I should be getting ready to start that soon for us to test again and the training. I know I'm going to pass the test this time. Very, very confident. Because <laughs> last time I wasn't confident at all. I was just like, oh, I'm going to fail, blah, blah, blah. But... As you guys know, I passed that test, and I'm going to pass this one, too. Because <laughs> this one is going to be way easier than the last one. The last one was easy, too, but it was just a mind thing because you have to talk, and you have to be very, very professional talking and everything. So they want to know if you can help, you know, handle Okay, make the camera had cut, off, <laughs> had cut off on me. But like I was saying, you have to be very, very professional um, taking calls and stuff. So, I should be taking that test soon, guys. But now, um, my uncle and my auntie, they invited us over here. This is where we at now. I don't know if we're going to be here permanently until we find our place. I don't know. All I know, they just said for us to come over here to, um, to help ease our mind. Because what was going on over there at my father's house, um, my dad just started tripping on me and everything. I, he just started tripping. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> he just started tripping. He was like, we wasn't doing what he thought we was going to do as far as, like, pay him and all the stuff, which we was doing. I mean, I'm like, 
hand is giving you money every week and you up and talking about that we're not paying you i'm like come on now you know what i'm saying and then he had gave me the car that i was driving okay he gave me the car that i was driving but i gave it back to him because uh, -uh i just i just don't want it i just don't want the car i gave the car back to him um we had a van but our van had broke down so my dad was like, I'm giving you this car and everything. He put me on the insurance, everything, guys. But I gave that car back to him. I don't want the car. I don't even want it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get me another car one day. So, that's that. But, um, I done gained so much weight for stressing, guys. I did a video about uh, panic attacks. Because I do experience having those from time to time. And when I was staying with him... Oh my god I mean I was just constantly just panicking all the time and that's why I love to vlog I love to vlog it keeps my mind away from all the other negativity that was going on and everything guys and it just helped me a lot you know so um, I love vlogging anyway I told you guys I love to vlog in a way and I'm gonna continue to do it so but um but yeah vlogging helped me a lot you know from my anxiety and everything and i seen um another video um labita d meg i think she suffered from anxiety too and i was looking at one of her videos and she was talking about um her you know depression and stuff but i'm not depressed i just experienced having panic attacks now i believe that is two different things i'm not depressed i'm not depressed at all but i do panic a lot and but that's another reason why they wanted me to come over here, you know, a better environment for the kids and just away from all that negativity that was going on over there. I mean, it was a lot. I mean, you guys have seen my dad on the vlogs and everything. He was cool on the vlogs and everything, but behind closed doors, guys, oh my goodness, mm -mm. My sister was telling me how my father was, and I was like, you know, you experienced that with him and everything. I really don't know him, and I really wanted to get to know him. But now I see exactly what my sister was talking about. Everybody see what my sister was talking about. So, um, I see now. I see. So, but we here now. I, like I said, I don't know how long we're going to be here. Um, she just told us to take our time. And to get ourselves together, I'm um, continue to do what I was doing before. Ken's continuing to do what, what he was doing before. And we're going to get through this, guys. We are going to get through this. The kids is okay. And at first, when we first moved with my father, the kids was loving it. And then towards the end, they was like, no. You know what I'm saying? They was like, mm-mm. And so when they came to me and told me and Ken that they wasn't comfortable and that they wasn't happy... I had to do something, y'all. I had to do something about it. I had to get them away from over there. I love my kids too much to put them through that, you know. So, we had to do something. So, here we are now. This is season eight. And let's just see what season eight is going to bring. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Watching my vlogs, period. And supporting us and praying for us and everything guys i love you guys so much and yeah so i just wanted to do this video to get you guys to understand you know what this channel is basically about it just really just watching us grow just that's all it is just really just watching us grow and i um I keep trying to keep a smile on my face. I try to have fun and everything. And I'm going to continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped somebody else out there. I mean, I hope this video was helpful. I mean, if you're going through what we're going through, keep your head up. I know I am. And I'm just going to keep it moving and see what the future holds. Love you guys. Bye.